When starting Quantity Surveying, it can feel like everyone is speaking a different language. With lots of new terms and acronyms, you may struggle to talk confidently in your job without feeling like you're saying something silly. Like, what does an AFP stand for? Of course, this question isn't silly at all, and everybody must learn these words somewhere. For that reason, we've created this video to act as a concise glossary containing the most common QS terms and acronyms that we've heard throughout our QS career. Before we begin, we need your help. If there's a QS term which you think people need to know about that we don't cover in this video, let us know in the comments below. We love to see you guys engage with us. Also, if you like our content, we'd really appreciate it if you could hit the like button, so YouTube knows this is content worth sharing. We've tried to keep the definitions in this video as concise as possible. Therefore, you may want to do some additional research. You'll find that some of these terms already have dedicated videos on our channel. We've highlighted each term red, which has a corresponding video, and left a link below in the description so you can further your understanding. So let's begin. CVR, Cost Value Reconciliation, gives you an ongoing account of the contract's profitability by measuring cost against value at different points in a contract's life cycle, right through to completion. AFP, Application for Payment, refers to a request for interim payment or complete payment by a contractor or a subcontractor in the construction industry. VALD, Value of Work to Date, a project management technique for measuring and estimating the project cost at any point in time. Variation, an alteration to the scope of work originally specified in the contract, whether by way of addition, omission, or substitution to the works, or through a change to the manner in which the works are to be carried out. Notification, official form of communication used between parties to notify the other of items such as payment, queries, warnings, change, defects, extension of time, and final accounts. Final account, the conclusion of the contract sum, including all necessary adjustments and the agreed amount that the employer will pay the contractor. Tender, a submission made by a prospective supplier in response to an invitation to tender. It makes an offer for the supply of goods or services. Scope slash works information, a general description of works that is expected to be performed under a particular contract. Detailed design, the phase where the design is refined and plans, specifications and estimates are created. Liability, in its broadest sense, the word liability refers to a responsibility placed on someone or something that places them at a disadvantage. For example, responsibility for the design or responsibility to pay a company money. Credit note, reduces the amount owed on the invoice document. Vesting certificate, an agreement for construction goods, plant or materials in letter form used to confirm that ownership of the goods, plant or materials will transfer from one party to another on payment. Retention, a percentage, usually up to 5% of the contract sum of each payment made under a construction contract, which is withheld in order to try and ensure that works under the construction contract are completed to the required standard. Take off. The term taking off refers to the process of identifying elements of construction works that can be measured and priced. Float. The total extra time beyond what the contractor actually needs, which is typically included at the end of its construction program. Forecast. Anticipated future spend on a project based on evidence and or assumptions. Accrual. Value of work completed, but not yet charged. ECI, early contractor involvement. The act of involving the principal contractor during early stages of design for professional input. NEC, JCT, and FIDIC. These are different types of construction contract providers. See our playlist for more details. RICS, CICES, and CIOB. These are different types of chartership institutions. BOQ, Bill of Quantities document used in tendering in the construction industry, in which materials, parts and labour are itemised. Specification, a well-structured detailed description of the quality, standards, workmanship, material and completion of work to be done which evolves across a project. BCIS, Building Cost Information Service of the Royal Institution of Chartered Surveyors, described by RICS as the leading provider of cost and price information to the construction industry and anyone else who needs comprehensive, accurate and independent data. Cost code, 
used to separate costs into specific categories. Matrone, a commercial hub to your business.